Hi guys, it is August 26th and I am behind with my readings because my internet was disrupted, but I am coming to you with another reading. It is going to be for my Taurus um, babes and gods and goddess, so please pay attention. I am going to be doing a quick read, but I'll try to make sure that I get all of the information that you need. I don't want to hold you. I know it's late, and or maybe you're just starting your day, depending on what country you're in. And you may be on your way to work and just have a little bit of time to catch this read. And if you're in the United States, I know it may be late for you, depending on where you are. So, we are going to get started. I hope you all had a great Thursday. Happy Friday to you all. Um, for all of my signs that I am just now beginning to read, you will have two readings today. So, it's going to be a read for today, but it's going to be an extra bonus read. I'll do a fortune read that is going to be coming from the Kipper. So, let's get started at this time. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Nine of Pentacles. So, you or someone you know have been working really, really hard. You've been dedicating yourself and your time to something that is worthwhile, really prominent, really prosperous, and you've just gotten exactly what you've put out, which is prosperity. You have good health and wealth. You've been practicing eating right. You've been showing thanks to the universe, to nature, to Mother Earth around you, and I appreciate you. So gratitude for that. And you've been taking good care of yourself. You find yourself really happy at this time. You could be communicating with nature a lot. You can be outdoors a lot at this time. Um, even if right now, wherever you are, it could be rainy. It could be like gloomy. But you still are finding time to go out, sit on the porch, be thankful for the rain, be thankful for what you have around you. You could like to be under trees a lot. You could like to sit next to trees, be in the grass have your feet out you know you could be someone who garden like to take care of things that is around you so that's awesome I'm not gonna take that card out because it didn't come out but it's at the bottom of the deck so we're gonna be talking about prosperity yes we have a king of Pentacles security definitely good wealth definitely um, happiness at this time as I'm saying abundance wealth you know you're in a comfort zone right now you're finding yourself just relaxed you're finding yourself taking in everything showing honor to the, the things around you showing honor to your ancestors showing honor to spirit to God to Ra to Jah to goddess you are someone who is really thankful and grateful you could pray a lot a lot a lot very often and that's really good that's good for you it's good for your health it's good it's benefiting you in a in a positive way so continue to do that continue to stay on top of that but because of you being so prosperous because of you being someone who had to go through a lot of defeats with this eight of wands in reverse it's like a lot of people could have been coming at you trying to prevent you from moving forward in your way staying in your way moving um, forward in what you have been trying to do what you have been trying to accomplish you could have had people trying to discourage you and hold you back from what you were trying to do they could have been telling you a lot of negative things as to why it wouldn't work these are pessimists i like to call them a lot of us like to call them that you know negative nancy's people who are always in your ear these could be people who are really lazy and so because they could have not lived out their dreams they don't want to see yours lived out as well they don't want to see you um, find something and have something that you're really grateful grateful for and able to work for yourself as well as if you are working in um, a work environment where you're working 
other people. You're a good team player. You're someone who always takes the initiative, step up and get things done. You could get acknowledged a lot at work by um, your higher ups, by executives and things like that. And account managers, people don't like this. People do not like to see you win. They could be in competition with you, but you continue to win. And because you stay positive, because you stay optimistic, the opposite of their pessimism, you have ended up on the better end of the stick. You have leaped over because of your leap of faith in yourself, because of your leap of faith in the work that you are able to produce and, you know, um, be able to um, have come out of you. You have been able to help not only yourself, but others around you. And some of these people are not happy about it, but you find yourself in a really happy place. You find yourself just really, really grateful that you don't give up, that you of all people have hope within yourself. You could have came over a lot of obstacles you could have had to jump over a lot of hoops and in a lot of run a lot of laps in order to get to where you are and you deserve every bit of success that you have and that you generated and have coming in so don't allow anyone to try to hold you back or make you feel bad about anything because only you know those sleepless nights that you have only you know those um, long mornings and possibly long drives that you had to take only you know um, the setbacks that you had to endure, the many times that you had to cry, the many people who tried to tear you down even though you didn't deserve it or you may have felt like you didn't deserve it. It was for, for a reason in order for you to get to where you are now. Those hurdles were meant to make you stronger. Those hurdles created the endurance that you have in order for you to have this prosperity that you've gained. So congratulations. I'm really proud of you. I'm really, really proud of you. I love go-getters. I love people who have that mentality to never give up, to always accept the challenge head on and say, okay, how are we, go how are we going to do this? I'm not going to tell you my steps of what I'm going to do. Just know that at the end of all of this, I'm going to end out on the end and on top. So good. You have a really good mindset. And I, I can see that you have a lot of goals. A lot of goals that you're actually crossing out you can have a journal something that you write in and you're crossing those goals out look at you you definitely have something that you write in you definitely have some something that you look to to help you to get um, further and it's been working you are a really hard worker you're someone to look at this woman in this office you have a lot of goals and you work really hard you read a lot of books um, so they could wonder why why do you continue to do better than us it's because you spend a lot of long days and a lot of long nights in your work office in your home office you're always somewhere working you you could be at Starbucks working if you you could go and pick up your coffee your drink your whatever your latte your chai and then you get on your way your your tea and you get on your way and you do what you need to do you're someone who take care of yourself you're someone who um don't overindulge in um, alcohol or um, drugs or anything you could have come from a past where you had a lot of obstacles and you had to face a lot of things and that could have been a part of your past for a short bit of time but you were able to get past that because you have a really strong mindset and because of that it helped you as well that is one of the reasons why you work hard that is one of the reasons why you keep striving for more because you never want to go back to where you were and so you don't give up on yourself you you could be hard on yourself but for all of the right reasons because you have a goal you have many goals that you plan to accomplish and you will especially with this mindset You're someone with this Knight of Pentacles in reverse. I'm getting that you're someone who does not walk away. You are someone who does not turn down the challenges I was mentioning earlier. You take them and you face them head on. And because of that, a lot of things that could have tried to, you know, hold you back. A lot of people who could have been behind you trying to stop you. You kept going. You didn't allow yourself to take the short stick. You didn't allow yourself to take the short ride. You took the longer ride, the longer walk. And you did exactly what you needed to do because you needed to see some things out. You could not have seen if you would have took that drive, if you would have took that ride. 
there were some things that you needed to see in order for you to be able to do the do the things that you have done and the things you're doing. Sometimes we have to talk, take take and talk to our, take a walk, talk to ourselves in our head, and remember that the things that are around us are also meant to teach us. And sometimes if we're taking the shorter ride or you know um, take not willing to go the distance, then we miss out on the things that we're meant to learn and grow from. We have a really positive energy. Yeah, you had a lot of obstacles, but you've been reborn. You could have, as I was mentioning earlier, had some addictions. You could have had some um, problems in your life, some setbacks, as I'm saying. But you, you could have been someone who always liked to um, help others and work for others and things like that. You could have recently started your own business as well as um, just started a new business idea that's been working out for you. But you also could have just had a spiritual awakening, awakening or a spiritual rebirth um, where you could have walked away from one um, system of um, spiritual belief and walked into another that has been better for you, better suited for you. You could also find yourself at this time stick it to yourself going into nature praying a lot you could like to go to the mountains you could like to um, sit underneath trees and pray in your free time of course you could be someone who likes to go out in the morning work out in somewhere in the forest somewhere you know um, in the mountains I'm hearing tavern but i don't know if a tavern is like a a place where you go um that's wooded or it's like it's i'm, I'm seeing like a wooden cabin or something but it's like a cellar maybe you could be someone who's a wine maker or someone who likes to drink wine in your free time which is not a bad thing you could like red wine like pinot <laughs> Ace of Cups in reverse. Someone could have not wanted you, even though you had a rebirth, someone wanted to kill your dreams. They didn't want you to have a new beginning. They didn't want you to have growth. They were trying to hold you back. As I say, you had a lot of obstacles, but you overcame them. And someone's really upset about it, or they could have been in the past. We have Leo, Aries, Sagittarius out here. You're really strong-minded. You don't allow things to pull you back. And because of that, you're balanced. You find yourself really balanced, really, you know, um, situated at this time. You could have been um, going back and forth in your head if the decisions you were making were going to work out and they ended up working out and you're like, to your avail, you're like, wow, that was a really great idea. I can't believe I did that. Did I really do that? And you look back at it and look at your accomplish your like accomplishments and you're like, Yeah, I did that. That was all me. <laughs> I know sometimes we get surprised by um the accomplishes accomplishments that we end up having, right? By ceasing to have issues and inner conflicts with ourselves and not allowing other people to get in our way and, and just face ourselves and, and not be afraid to face ourselves then we become a much better person. And people don't like that. <laughs> they don't like for you to grow. <laughs> the Ace of Cups in reverse. They don't like for you to have new beginnings. They don't like to see you looking at your cup as half full instead of half empty. Because they could be someone who's really negative, who looks at their cup as um, half empty and that is not going anywhere. They're constantly taking from it instead of pouring into it. Yeah, you've run away from these type of people. You've run away from people who are um, negative and you are trying to catch up with yourself. You are trying to catch up with your higher self. You want to be a better person. You want to go places in life. You want to, you don't want that, um, you don't want that opportunity to be missed. And so you're running towards it instead of a, away from it. You're running towards your the, the better life that you want instead of away from it. You're running towards your, you know, 
your future, your wealth, your generational wealth at that because you're a really hardworking person. You could also be running <laughs> towards a new romance with, with you getting settled and comfortable with this Knight of Pentacles. You can look at yourself as you have now the time because you worked so hard in the past. You could find yourself having time to spend with someone else, to um, pour into someone else at this time. Um, you're looking towards someone as um, a really good opportunity um, for you to be with, um, to spend time with. It could just start off as a friendship, but you're definitely looking at them as someone you have interest with and want to at least explore um, what could be there you could want to get them flowers they could love roses they could love the color red they are someone who loves to be passionate or you are you could be really passionate about this person as well as shy <laughs> you're someone that's innocent though even though the knight of cups can be someone who's a player I'm, I'm getting in this in this read at this moment that you're someone who's innocent you're someone who's really shy you could have had player ways but at this time you're not into that that's not the energy that you're walking towards this person with you've grown up and changed your ways we have two cut we have two cards and then we're going to be done with this so we have this the lovers in reverse you're not looking to you know go towards this person and play games with this person you're not looking to sell this person a dream to just be intimate with them to have sex you're not even thinking about sex it's it's genuinely like a friendship you want to take it slow with this person because as i'm saying you're really shy so it's not even about sex for you it's more so about figuring out their mind trying to see who they are they're really mysterious to you it's kind of hard for you to understand and try to get into their head this could be someone who closes their mind off um, especially to sex they don't really care for it and then with the ten of cups in reverse you're not even looking towards this person as um, for them for security or anything like that you're not looking for anything um, you don't have your mindset on anything at this time you're just exploring you know who they are as a person you if anything see yourself able to help this person to get ahead as well as well as looking at this person as someone who you could spend a lot of time with and not have to worry about other people around trying to hurt you both or trying to hurt you you could look at this person as someone who you can trust um but you haven't been having you know um you haven't been having um, able to have a relationship with this person or been able to talk to this person you guys could you know you could you could have a hard time communicating with this person just because you're really shy just because you're someone who um, you look at this person as someone who's you know um, closed off as I was saying before this is someone who their mind could be you know different totally different from yours in the way you were thinking this person could have looked at you as a player because of that you know they could have stepped away and it created you know a delay it created where you had to remove yourself or they removed themselves from the situation you could have been able to grow with this person but because someone stepped away you both weren't able to do that you weren't able to have this new beginning of love and romance and so because you know you weren't able to you want to try to start over you want to try to start over but in a way where it's just like I just want to see where your mind is. I just want to see how much you've grown. I just want to see how much you changed. Because this person who you're looking to could have changed a lot. Or you could have changed a lot. Especially with this Knight of Pentacles. You are someone who have a lot of time on your hand right now. But you don't want to waste it. Or you don't want to spend it in the wrong way. Or thinking the wrong way. This is someone who you could have not been in communication with or saw in over six months, 10 months. The 10th month is significant. That is October. And we have a lot of passion though. We have, but you could be really angry with this person. 
you could be upset with them even though you've changed a lot you could have changed in a way where it's like you've grown to in a way i don't want to say hate but i'm hearing it like you could have you could have a love hate relationship where this person and not even a relationship just like an idea of this person because you both don't even have a relationship you're not together at all you haven't saw each other in a while you could not have kids or they could not have kids or it's just like you guys could have kids just not together or you could have kids just not together or she could have kids just not you know with you just with some some other partner and they could not be together or you could not be with your partner or you know kids mother kids father but yeah that is what I have for you at this time. You've really grown a lot. And I feel like the point of where you are at this moment, since you've worked really hard to get to where you are, it's like definitely take things slow just because you never know where people's head, head is. You never know how people think. You never know what type of person they are. Um, you never know what their intentions are anyway. And you don't want to get your feelings hurt. And I'm getting that that's how you feel at this moment. It's like you, you don't want to get your feelings hurt. You could have worked really hard to work towards, you know, this this relationship or this, like, friendship. And it's like every time you do, it doesn't work out for some reason. Or every time she does or whatever he does, it doesn't work out. And so it's like at this point, it's like I really want you in my life. But you're being stopped for some reason. Like this, you guys coming towards each other has been stopped or delayed you have to be patient you both have to be patient one of you have to be patient someone wants to come close fast faster than the other someone wants to start a family have a family dynamic with someone sooner than they should could be in a rush to do so but it's just like focus on what you have Focus on what you're doing and just learn how to grow into loving yourself first before you could try to focus on anyone else and what they have going for themselves. You know, just worry about you at this time because you've been having to put in a lot of work in order for you to grow into the person that you've been working to become. So just continue to work on yourself and be better. And in time, with divine timing, you, you will be together or you will at least eventually be able to you know have that time together get to reconnect get to communicate it's just you you need some space at this time to continue to work on yourself or they could just take it you know reverse the roles if you know it's not you then it could be the person you're thinking of so that is what I have for you again. This is a Taurus reading and in your energy or in your chart, your birth chart, it could be Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. I look forward to seeing you all soon. Please do like and subscribe to my channel. I will see you later. Bye.